welcome back to STV channel. In today's video, we'll be checking out on how to export CC here from CC, how to export it here from CC into Blender, then export that the same here back into CC without wasting much of our time. Let us get started. First, I'm going to select the hair. Let's assume I will be using this hair. I want to use this lot here. Then I want this here to be what to be flat. As you can see, the hair is too high. I want it to be flat, so I can use this or uh, use this CC tools. So if I fly it down, then go to another device to to confirm the hair, calculate the collision. Okay, this really makes sense, but. Let's assume you want to make some adjustments using Blender or something like that. So in order for you to export it from CC into Blender and import it back into CC, that's what that's the reason why we are here today. So if I let's assume I, I want to adjust the hair, I've applied the hair, then click on modify file, export, FBX, Blender, embedded texture. I will use current post, then delete item off. You can check that. So I will name this as Hilliot here. Then let's get into this again. Go to the top menu, click on File, Import, FBX, locate where you export the CC character, then choose the file, import it. You can hide this amateur here by clicking the objects in the scene, then click on Hide. So it will hide that. Then let us check out the hair. So select the hair. Oh, you select this from in the same tab. This is the hair. I will hide this one. We don't need this. I will delete this. Okay, this is the original hair, which is Elon's hair. Then go to under sculpting mode so as to adjust this here sculpting zoom in adjust the character position so I will use the grab tools to scale down the hair. I can increase the radius so as to make it more faster. Although I'm not a uh, blender expert, but I'm just using blender for an adjustment. So my favorite tool is Revolution Products. So I don't use blend, Blender, so I'm not an expert in Blender. Then as soon as we finish adjusting the hair, let me adjust this area as well. Okay, let us we finish, then get back to layout mode. Then make sure you select the hair. Select the object that you want to export. I'm not exporting this character at this time, but export this object only. So once you select the object in the scene, then go to the top menu, file, click on export. We are not using FBX this time around. The, the reason why we will not do FBX is that if we are want to use our FBX, relation we ask about um FBX key. So and we do have that for now. Once you select the hair, 
then click on file exports we are using OBJ then I will save it here I will name this as Elliot Blender then under the settings here limit to the selection objects only which means we are not exporting the whole work but the hair we are only exporting the hair then click on limit to selection only and uh, for the scaling we have to bring it higher maybe 100 so scale this up to 100 then leave the other settings and click on the spots so once it finishes get back. in order to import the hair at first i will hide this one in order for you to import the hair click on go to the top menu click on create accessories we'll be using accessories method then this is the highlight blend choose the file open So I adjust the hair. As you can see, I'm not seeing my gizmo here. The reason is that the pivot is not in middle mode. In order for you to reset this hair pivot, go to your modify tab under attribution, scroll all the way down to pivot, then choose middle. So you cannot export, you cannot adjust the hair like this. Okay. I think it is time fitted. We we will fix this one as soon as possible. Don't worry about that. Then we copy this or uh, this layers here material here. Go to select the hair. Go to modify tab material. We will copy this this material one by one. This. Select the adjusted uh, adjusted hair. Go to the modify the under other materials. Paste paste it here. Then for the opacity, we have to we have to copy the opacity as well so as to fix the issue here. Copy the opacity. Paste it here. So that's all for now. And for the hair transparency, select the hair. What we are doing here is that we are copied that. Um, okay, I think all the materials are even the same. So I have to apply this. I don't need to be selecting this here every time. So I don't have to reassign this. Paste the opacity map. Paste the opacity map. So for the material, they are using same material. If they are not using same material, you have to copy each material as you see here. So paste the materials, paste the materials as you can see. In order for us to fix this pole here, this loophole and this one as first, you know, uh, we import this as an accessory as you can see here. This is an accessory. So in order for you to to bake it down as here so just select the object in the same then go to modify tab attribution and scroll all the way down to create here brush and beard so click on create here reset the facial expressions then i think this will be the top the base here so i'll be using base here i'll be using base here then click on apply So we cannot fix this issue by doing what? Go to modify tab attribution as well. Click on confirm and calculate your collision. Okay, this is not fixed successfully. So you cannot do what? You cannot save your hair for next time use. Click on the hair custom. I will save the hair in this area. I 
goddess Iliot II. So I will be calling this Iliot II. So as you can see, the year is now saved successfully. So you cannot delete both this year. We apply. As you can see. Now let us check the difference between the previous one and the okay. We don't need to do that because if we do that now, both here will disappear from themselves. So as you can see, the original here is very very high. The strand is very very high, but the uh, the adjustments one that we did in Blender, so it's very low. You can see everything is now successful. So that is how to do what how to export CC here into Blender and export it back and export the hair back into CC as well. So that is it for today. In our next tutorial, we'll be checking out on how to export clothes, CC clothes from CC into Blender and export the same clothes back into CC. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.